Welcome to the tutorial on converting a Google Classic site into a new site. So to begin this conversion process, you want to start on your Google Sites page. So you will go to the portal and access Google Drive from the portal. And in the upper right hand corner, you use this square and you will go to Google Sites. This will take you to your Google Sites homepage. It'll show you any of the sites that you have access to that you are an owner of. And this is where you will begin the conversion process. You do need to be the owner of the site to complete the conversion process. So this is something you can only do for your own sites. So to begin the conversion from a classic site to a new site, you will get to this page and then you will click on Classic Sites Manager on the left. Classic Sites Manager, again, will show you all of the sites you have access to that you are able to convert. And so you're going to find the site in the list that you're working with. You're going to click on it uh, kind of over here in the white area. If you click on the actual name of the site, it'll open it up. But if you click over to the side, it will highlight that specific site. And on the right, it will tell you some details about that site. And then you will see the access to the conversion tool. The conversion tool will take you through a series of steps. Um, it will already identify any pages or items within your site that will not convert the same way. Um, some of these may convert in a slightly different fashion or they may not convert at all and they may be things that you need to recreate in a different way once your site is available as a new site. So it's important to read through this page and understand the details because um, this will be specific to the site that you are working with and then you can hit start. This will begin the conversion process. And it'll tell you that it's going through the draft creation of the new site. And then it's gonna let you preview the site before you're complete. So we'll just let this work for a second. Okay, and once your site is completely um, through this draft creation process, you can hit continue. And that will take you into the review of the draft. And so you can review the site before uh, the conversion is complete. So this will open in a new window. And this will take you through a quick tour of your new site. Um, and so it is a good idea. You can take uh, a few minutes to go through this tour. It'll show you a little bit about the Google Sites new sites tool, which you can see just even from this page lo looks a little different on how you can edit and customize your site. So feel free to take some time to go through the tour. I'm just going to skip it here. And the main thing that we want to point out if you are an ePortfolio user and you've been uh, using the classic sites with the template that we have provided to you, the main thing that will look different in the site is the navigation. If you remember from the previous uh, classic sites template, there was a long list of navigation on the side. And through the conversion process, you can see that actually appears across the top here and there's just not enough room. So what we suggest um, is going in to the gear icon in the upper right, going to this navigation option, and the default is top, but if you change that to side navigation, it will be much more uh, familiar from our previous use with classic sites. And so now you can see that the, the top bar here does not have all those navigation items, and in this little hamburger menu here on the side, you can open it up and this will show you the things that were previously on the left hand side, the about me section, areas related to the college wide learning outcomes, and then also the showcase area, which you can expand. Um, while you're in edit mode, this will not be visible. But once you publish your site, which is in the upper right corner over here, um, that navigation will be uh, something visible on the site that users can get to very easily. So that's the main tip that we would provide um, after the conversion process to make the new site that you will now be using um, more user-friendly and usable. And then from there, you can still customize all of the different areas in your site 
you can navigate to each of the pages um, and control and customize those as you wish. You can insert items into the pages, you can insert new pages to the site, and you can control the overall look and theme of the site. For more documentation and resources on the new Google Sites tool, um, we will provide that link separately so that you can explore that as well. But this will take you through the process of conversion. 